the specific things that we talk about, if whether or not it makes sense to become pregnant if you're a woman, um, actually have to do with health. And those in particular have to do with lung function. We usually would like to see your lung function be better than 70% are predicted. If it's between 40 and 70, we feel like we can probably make it work. If it's less than 40%, we, we really say, let's talk about this. This is gonna be a challenge. Now we have had some successful pregnancies in that setting but you have to realize it's gonna come with additional challenges. We talk about nutritional status, so BMI. You know, our goals in women usually is around 22, a BMI of 22, but we know that oftentimes there's morning sickness, there's times when you're not able to eat, there's also additional demands because of a new child as you're, when you're pregnant, so you wanna make sure that there's some reserve, so that's a big one. The presence of diabetes. And we know that there's increased risk of diabetes during pregnancy. As a matter of fact, most women with cystic fibrosis will at least develop some glucose intolerance. So diabetes, which can be something we have to pay extra attention to. Um, and then are there other medications, which you might have to think about whether you can use during pregnancy? Um, are there any other issues? For instance, there's some evidence that sepatia may uh, get a little bit worse during pregnancy. When we finally were at the point we decided we did want to start our family, we actually went to the, the care team first. We wanted to make sure that, in their opinion, they felt that it was a, a good idea for me. Uh, they looked at my health at that time. They looked at kind of my history up until that point and, and, and basically gave us the, the green light. So that was exciting and, and started the process. It actually was a lot tougher getting pregnant. Uh, it took us two and a half years to conceive uh, our oldest daughter, Catherine. After about eight months, nine months, we decided to go through uh, with fertility treatment, saw a doctor, did that for a couple months. Didn't work, we took a year off, kind of in the middle of it. It, it became a little stressful, so we took some time and went back a year later with a different doctor. And then I think it was two, three months after we did get pregnant with Catherine, so we were very excited about that. One of the first things I can remember the, the care team telling me is that you probably will get gestational diabetes. They, they told me that up front. They wanted to make sure that I made my doctor aware that I needed to be tested early. So not at the point most pregnant women are tested for gestational diabetes, but I think it was even a, a month or so before then. And I did, I, I ended up with gestational diabetes with, with both pregnancies. I luckily was able to control it with diet. When I was pregnant with Catherine, it ended up being a little bit of a rough pregnancy. I ended up on bed rest at 31 weeks. So when my water broke and I went to the hospital the next morning, I think the doctors just kind of looked at me and said, um, we're gonna deliver Catherine by cesarean. So within an hour of getting to the hospital, Catherine was born. It was a pretty quick turnaround. Neither Catherine nor Olivia do have CF. They were both tested in the hospital after they were born and we were very happy to hear that they did not. To learn more about this issue, ask your CF Foundation accredited care center or contact the CF Foundation directly. Call 800-FIGHT-CF or email us at info at cff.org.